Hey guys, Danny Johnson here and today we're going to replace the oil filter adapter gasket and so we're using a Felpro one here. This is what it looks like and it goes uh, behind the oil filter basically and it's going to be on a two valve Mustang but not mine. It's going to be on my sister's. Okay, so this thing's leaking really bad so you're going to want to have some safety glasses so that this doesn't leak in your eyes. Okay, so we lifted the car into the air. We lifted right here so that we could put uh, the jack right on that support beam towards the front. And we're going to keep the jack there as an extra safety precaution. Okay, even with the nice epoxy floors where stuff wipes up pretty easy, I would definitely recommend putting down a bunch of cardboard. And uh, if you don't have epoxy floor, definitely, because this is going to make a mess. Okay, next we brought in our oil drain pan. Now this is nasty. This is probably one of the worst I've ever seen. But uh, anyway, next we're going to remove the oil filter. So just go ahead and just grab on here. If it's not too slick, and we're gonna go ahead and remove this by turning it counterclockwise. Okay, we have our oil filter wrench on this one just because it was so bad. We're just sliding it so slippery I wiped it off first. Go ahead and remove that counterclockwise. Just make sure you have your pan underneath it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and, and remove this. You just pinch on the back side and it slides off. So I just had a button that you push on the back. So we'll keep that out of our way. Okay, so here's our oil filter adapter. This is where the oil filter goes on. And so we're going to remove its housing and there's just four bolts. One, two, three, four. They're 13 millimeter. And the fun part is when this removes, you have coolant coming through here for the oil cooler, so you will have a lot of coolant come out, so make sure you still have your bucket handy. Okay, you can see it's a water show here. Don't say I didn't tell you. So with the bolts removed and you remove the adapter away from the block, you'll see the gasket that was in between both of them here. Okay, so we just pinched this hose clamp and walked it off. And now we'll be able to pull the hose off of that elbow that has this housing on it. Okay, so there's the block side of it that we're going to clean up. And now we're going to go ahead and take this over to the workbench, clean it up too. Okay, so here's our new gasket. and. Uh, you just want to make sure that it's going to match up. It looks like it's pretty good here. Okay, so take the old gasket and set it over the new one just to make sure everything lines up. We're looking good. But we want to clean this mating surface so it doesn't leak again. So you can wipe it off and uh, this is like a scotch pad here, like the back side of a sponge, which works really well. And I just happen to have a, a drill here. So with my safety glasses on, I'm just going to go ahead and brush this and get it nice and clean. Okay, that looks pretty good now. It's pretty smooth and we even have 1200 grit sandpaper so it's very, very fine. Just gonna go like this to kind of get the whole surface nice and smooth and equal so you'll feel it. Now you may get some slight pitting in here from the coolant and the other things that are kind of uh, eating away at this. And if you can't really wear it down smooth, you can just put a gasket maker down in there to make it smooth and flush again. Okay, I'm starting to make some progress here on the car side of it, but it's pretty bad. Where the oil is is fine, but the coolant passage is pretty bad uh, where the old seal was. And so I'm hitting it with 800 grit sandpaper and uh, we'll work our way up and try to get it nice and smooth. So on the block of the car, we got it pretty cleaned up with a wire brush and some sandpaper. Uh, it's still going to have some around the coolant passage, but uh, it's smooth there. So I just wanted to show you this uh, new gasket. You can see how tall these ledges are on here. When you turn it sideways, you could actually see them. The old one is worn down super flat, as you can see here. So uh, probably attributes to some of its leaking, but just wanted to show you that. Now this next part is optional, but what we're going to do is put a little bit of this Permatex gasket maker and we're putting on super, super thin, so we're just spreading it with our finger and that's just going to help fill in some of those pits. 
So next we did the same thing on the block side, just very super thin coating here to where uh, it's spread so thin it's almost not even there, but you don't want a lot of it, and that's an optional thing that you can do if you want. Next you're going to want to put the gasket on the actual adapter, and then run two bolts through it at least so that they stay in place and it doesn't slide out on you, and lift it up in there and get it tightened down. Okay, just replace all four bolts. It probably doesn't matter which ones you do as long as you put them in evenly and then tighten them down. Uh, maybe the top ones and then the bottom ones separately would be best. Okay, so we just took our pliers here and pinched that clip and just moved it right back over there. So now our adapter housing here with the coolant is now connected again with the radiator hose that we took off and it's uh, right in here. So you always want to feel behind it and make sure that you can feel like I can right here. I can feel the metal so we know that the clamp is on enough and it's back where we got it from pretty much. Okay, we're going to go ahead and reconnect our uh, sensor here. Okay, while we're under here and since uh, coolant has been mixing with the oil a little bit and it might have even got in and we just Remove the housing. It's a good idea to change the oil at this point. And we're going to put a new oil filter on anyway, too. Okay, so we put a thin uh, layer of oil here on this on the new seal for the new oil filter. We'll go ahead and put this up in here. So we're just spinning this on hand tight. Okay, so that's on good and tight, as tight as you can get it by hand. Okay, next we just took our 5 8 inch socket and put our drain plug back in. Okay, now we're adding our engine oil. Okay, replace the oil cap. Now we're going to fill the coolant system. So you can start here in the expansion tank, but uh, that's not going to fill the whole thing. So what we're going to do is uh, remove the hose here as well and pour it in here as a high point. And then when it starts to overflow out of here, we're going to hurry and put it back on. Okay, so we just pinched that clamp and walked it forward so that we could get the hose off. Now we're going to hold it up here and we're going to pour coolant in here until it's coming out there. When it's filled here and there, we're going to pop this back on. Okay, you can see the good this is doing holding this is the high point. You can see all the bubbles working them itself out there. So you want to just keep doing that until those bubbles disappear because they're still air trapped in the system. Just keep adding on this end. Eventually it should uh, come down and uh, just keep adding it until it starts spilling out of there and there's no more air. Okay, so we put our cap on there to trap it. You can see now it's coming out here. So this is full and that one's full. We're just going to hurry and push this back on. Okay, make sure you're on full blast heat so that that coolant goes through the heater core as well. Okay, we're going to run it like this up in the air. Until this gets warm, we'll let it uh, air out this way. Squeeze on this hose. Work out any bubbles that are in there. Okay, once this starts to overflow or bubble, it doesn't have air left in it, we're going to go ahead and put this back on. Let the system build the pressure. Just let it run like that. It's not even registering warm yet. We're good. Okay, you're going to want to let it run like this for a little while and get up to somewhat warm temperature. Uh, then drive the car around with the heat on and uh, then uh, you'll be able to get Okay, we're going to run it like this up in the air. Just keep checking the coolant level throughout the next time and it uh, should be good. Uh, so thanks for watching guys. This really isn't that bad of a job to do, um, especially on the two valve. On the four valve it's a little tighter, the oil filter and cooler is a little bigger and you can disassemble it on the inside. There's some Allens to take apart.
But uh, anyway, otherwise, it's you're just going to take a shower on this one most likely and get pretty wet. Uh, you can drain the radiator if you want. It may or may not help. You may still get wet. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like uh, the video and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks, guys.